Hey, in this video, let's see uh, what it takes to project an eyeball onto a character. So instead of drawing one, uh, is there a way to simply project a photograph and ZBrush? And there is. So um, here's the image I made in Photoshop. It's a uh, photograph of an eyeball and it's currently a 2K image and the background, the black layer is just simply black. So pure black in ZBrush is gonna be transparent. So as long as you save it as a PSD, uh, you can bring it in uh, as transparent image. So let's jump back into ZBrush. All right, so here I am in ZBrush and now I would like to project this eyeball onto uh, this eye. So how do I do that? So to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my hair and face and I'm gonna go into uh, orthographic view and I'm gonna select the eyeball layer and make sure that your subdivision level is relatively high. Uh, I'm subdivided four levels, so I'm a million uh, points to give me enough uh, resolution. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go to texture and do import and just grab your uh, PSD uh, file and then let's say open. And then as soon as you do, as you can see, I've done this twice now, but uh, once the um, eye comes in, just simply select it and then click on this button, uh, add to spotlight. As soon as you do, your uh, eyeball will be positioned in your uh, viewport. So then you can just simply scale it and drag it into position of where you would like it to be. So in my case, uh, I kind of want it centered, right? And you can move, you can click around if you want to get rid of this uh, tool so it's not on the way. So maybe I'll place mine somewhere right here in the middle. And the other thing you can do is you can um, change the opacity of the eye. So keep, keep that in mind. Uh, and that doesn't affect the projection, it's just for you to view it. All right, great. So as soon as you're ready to project, just simply press Z on your keyboard. And now if I go into my standard brush and just make sure that RGB is turned on and everything else is off and my intensity is set to 100, I can simply uh, draw around the eye. Looks like nothing is happening, but I'm projecting it onto my eyeball. And now if I press uh, Z and then press Shift Z to hide the projection, you can see that the eyeball has been projected the pupil has been projected onto my eyeball. Now, one of the things that you uh, will notice is that sometimes the edges are not uh, very clean. So in this situation, it's pretty easy to fix. What I'm gonna do is just simply go to drag tool and grab this alpha 09 and just simply switch my brush to uh, black. And what I would like to do is also change my shift focal point to minus 100 and now what I can do is just simply drag another outline covering the uh, messy one just kind of hiding it so just like uh, that that will uh, that will work and you can of course change the color um, if you like now if we go to sub tool let's bring back the character and see what that looks like So I'm pretty uh, happy with that. If you wanted to change the size of it, maybe it's too big or too small. Um, let's go ahead and try that. Maybe it's a little too large. So what I need to do is simply paint it back. Um, what I'm, I'm gonna turn off my um, alpha here and just simply paint it back. And let's press uh, Shift Z again to bring the eyeball and then press Z to bring in the tools. So if I wanted my eyeball to be a little smaller, maybe I can make it, you know, I can rescale it, then press uh, Z to hide the tools, and then using the brush again, reproject it, just like we did before. Press Shift Z to hide the um, uh, spotlight, and now I just need to go ahead and fix that uh, um, the outline once again. So I'm going to go back to black and just drag my outline around the eye. 
All right, let's take a look. I think that's maybe a little better. And now if I wanted to project it to the other side, all I need to do is just flip it over using mirror and weld. So I'm gonna flip it uh, to the other side. And if that doesn't work because I have a uh, subdivision, let's go ahead and get rid of the subdivision and press it again. So you can see how uh, that flips it over. And now if I go, uh, one other thing that I set up is the background light. I just use the uh, gradient for my light. So if I turn this on, turn the perspective back on and just do a quick render, I can see what that looks like. And that looks pretty cool. So that's uh, how you can project eyeballs onto your characters instead of drawing it. In case you're wondering what is going on with all of this uh, tinting, that's just under uh, render and I'm using a BPR uh, filter. So you can find that under BPR filter and I just turned on the sharpen and also the uh, fade. So these are, you can see the open circles. Those are the two I have open and that creates kind of a cool uh, rendering effect. But I wanted to show you the uh, spotlight tricks and I hope you find it useful and use it in uh, your work. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.